pattern predictions. A look out to the next two weeks here at the One Degree Outside Weather Network. I'm meteorologist Matt Noyes. Some of you may be watching right now on the stream, but if you haven't heard already, we've launched New England's first ever weather network. It is all streaming, all digital, but available to one and all. Not only does One Degree Outside Live take you there, you can find it on our website, OneDegreeOutside.com. And on your smart TV, open up the YouTube app. Just search for the number one degree outside network. Of course, it's atop the app as well. And this video is designed to accompany the app. The app will get you the data, the forecast over the next 14 days. But this is the explanation of why the forecast looks the way it does over the next two weeks. The first thing I'll start out with very basic. The jet stream winds, that fast river of air high in the sky, steers storm systems along separates cool air to the north from warm to the south. As I put it into motion, I won't stop it. I'll let it go through all two weeks, but you'll find multiple disturbances dropping in from Canada. And for us here at home in New England, the jet stream winds, the westerlies generally bringing in bouts of cool air along the way. There's some good news to this, which is that you generally then remain protected from the tropics. There could be a couple of exceptions, and I'll show you that here in just a minute. Now, that doesn't undo what we talked about in the monthly forecast, because in the monthly forecast, we talked about the fact that as we get to the middle of the month onward, things will become more favorable for tropical development. That still looks to be the case. Multiple waves will be coming off Africa and coming around the southern edge of a big semi-permanent high pressure dome that'll be parked out over across the Atlantic. It's just that here at home, when we keep getting these incursions of cool air and disturbances from Canada, it tends to sweep the action out to sea. You're looking at 500 millibar heights, and if you don't watch these videos often, generally just think of it this way. The warmer colors are warmer average temperature through a deep layer of the atmosphere, the colder colors, colder average temperature as well. What you're looking at here is multiple kind of rounds of colder air disturbances, upper level energy dropping in across the Northeast from time to time. Now, one of the things that's interesting is every now and again, some of that energy comes all the way down to the southeastern United States or toward the Gulf of Mexico and the Bahamas. And this is why in the monthly forecast, I had mentioned we enter this pattern where you have to start watching for homegrown development, near shore development, because some of this energy, if it sits over the very warm waters, this is some of the warmest water of the year that you're going to get can result in thunderstorms. And if you get enough of those and they maintain themselves enough, you end up with a tropical system developing. So that's a real possibility with the multiple fronts that keep diving southward. Notice as we get out toward mid-month and beyond, we do have a bit of a weakness here, a trough that's still in place across the eastern seaboard. Sometimes you would worry about that and say, is that a highway for the tropical systems? In this instance, most of the time, because of what we looked at at the jet stream level, the fast westerlies, I think that even if anything did start to curl northward, it would probably get swept out. The only thing you'd watch for is notice the colder air really building. This is an interesting shift that happens in the northern hemisphere. You see right now some of the coldest air has shifted across the pole and is out towards Siberia. Well, the idea is that as we get out toward later in the month, this is the 24th, you're going to find some of that coming to this side of the northern hemisphere that would open up early season incursions of more significant cold particularly to the northern tier of the u.s from the northern plains into the upper midwest but sure here at home it's a possibility the one thing you got to be careful for is see that huge ridge that develops when we get to the third week out about across the uh, gulf of alaska so if you can pull enough of a trough into the nation's midsection you would be able to turn the flow out of the south for at least a few day window and you'd have to watch anything that was in the tropical Atlantic. So it's not that we entirely write it off, even though overall in the next two weeks, we're protected. Pattern predictions in terms of the temperatures, this again may change a little, but I think the theme here is pretty clear, which is you're very close to normal for this time of the year. You may be slightly below normal, particularly, and this is something else we mentioned in the monthly forecast, when you take the overnight lows into account. There are going to be some cool nights. These are New England averages, so you've got some spots that, yeah, over the course of the next two weeks, we'll have some 30s in northern New England. Now, with multiple disturbances, it does raise the chance of showers overall, and you see that showing up because you get these frequent incursions of energy energy dropping down and they can make scattered showers or even thunderstorms. But when you look at the overall precipitation forecast, let's say over the next 10 days, notably absent here in New England, we watch one disturbance middle of this week that'll be just off the coastline, but regardless, shouldn't throw a ton of rain for most of us. And then as we get out later in the period, you know, there are the disturbances that bring you that, those scattered showers and storms, but you're just not really looking at anything that's going to be appreciable unless, unless again, you were to line up particularly in the third week of the month at Tropical Flow. Membership.OneDegreeOutside.com is the website if you want to become a member and support our cause. We hope you have a great rest of your day.